When I hear the phrase Scandinavian minimalist watch, I think of overpriced quartz watches that emphasize the Scandinavian minimalist aesthetic to justify their high prices, but are actually produced at a low cost in China. Phrases like affordable luxury and cutting out the middleman come up a lot. Does that sound familiar to you? So About Vintage reached out and they described themselves as Scandinavian minimalist watch brand. And I was initially like, hmm. But then I decided to explore their website anyway, and I was actually pleasantly surprised. Because I found that their watches weren't minimalist in the plain looking cheap sort of way. It looks like there was effort made in designing the watches. And on top of that, they also have a lot of collaborations, most notably the Chronograph watch and the Moonface watch with Frederic Constant. I also checked their Trustpilot ratings, and they have a score of 4.2 out of 5, and so I thought, you know what, let's give it a go. Out of all the watches available, the 1926 at Sea Automatic was the one I liked the most. It's listed at $599, but during the last Black Friday sale, it was listed at $419. The watch was shipped immediately and it came all the way from Denmark. It came in this fancy wooden box which I thought was a bit unnecessary because it's just added clutter. My watch came with a dark blue nylon strap but you can buy it with leather or metal straps from the website. For the dimensions, it has a case diameter of 39mm, lug to lug of 46mm, and a case thickness of 13 millimeters, but deceptively looks slimmer because of the case design, and a lug width of 20 millimeters. The stainless steel case is vertically brushed throughout, with the coin edge bezel and the crown being the only polished parts that catch the light. It has a 120 click unidirectional aluminum bezel in dark blue, with the numbers and lines in light gold. Under the super domed sapphire crystal is a sandwich dial with the dark blue upper layer slightly domed and the lower layer loomed. It uses leaf-shaped hour and minute hands, which is something you don't see very often. The second hand has a reversed sword shape, which I think looks really elegant, and I like how it catches the light. There's the About Vintage logo on top of the dial, and there's a bit of text at the lower part, which doesn't feel out of place. Mine came with this nylon strap, which is the typical good quality nylon strap in terms of fabric, but with the brushed hardware featuring their logo. It also came with quick-release spring bars, which makes it easier to switch to other straps, but just make sure your other straps also come with their own spring bars. As for the movement, it's powered by the Miyota A215, which is a known reliable automatic movement in the budget watch category. It doesn't hack, but it does hand wind. It has a power reserve of 40 hours, so you'll be able to skip a day of not using it and it will still continuously run. Lastly, I have to highlight that the water resistance is only 100 meters, which is good enough for swimming, but not good enough for actual professional diving, so keep that in mind when you go to the beach with this. Before we get into the review portion, just note that this watch was sent in for review. I don't have to send it back, hence the sponsored tag at the beginning of this video. Having said that, I want to emphasize that I'll be as fair as I can be, so let's dive right into the pros and cons. First on the pros, it's a good looking watch. I like the nice details such as the domed sandwich dial, the font and color choice of the text on the dial, the bezel, and the leaf shaped hands. I also like that it takes inspiration from old styles like the vintage Blancpain 50 Fathoms with the thicker bezel, and the Rado Captain Cook with the domed dial, but without straight up copying any of those. The choice of the thicker bezel also makes it look like the dial is smaller, so it feels proportional on smaller wrists, while the overall size of 39mm case diameter doesn't feel too small on bigger wrists. The next pro for me is the bezel. The experience of turning the bezel is quite satisfying with the crisp sound, and there's very little to no backplay. It doesn't hurt my fingers when I turn it around because the grooves aren't too deep, and turning it wasn't that tough. Note though that while the aluminum bezel on my unit is aligned, Miguel over at SoCal Watch Reviews experienced otherwise, which is why it's important to watch multiple reviews before buying anything. Next pro, the quality of the watch feels good. The stainless steel case brushing looks very neat, and the printing of the text looks crisp. The insides look clean as well, with the polished parts of the hands looking really shiny. I like that they thought of signing the crown and signing the buckle on the strap, which shows the brand going the extra mile. 
While I prefer to judge a product by its own merits as an individual product, I wanted to mention that a portion of the sales goes to the Ocean Cleanup Project. The Ocean Cleanup aims to clean up the ocean of garbage and they've received a ton of awards since their beginning in 2013. I just wanted to include this in the list of pros in case this was something important to you. By the way, if you're finding the review helpful so far, it would be really helpful for the channel if you click that like button. Now I did say I was gonna be as fair as I can be, and this 1926 Etsy Automatic is not a perfect watch. So here are the cons. For something that's called a dive watch, it lacks the expected functional requirements of a dive watch, namely the water resistance and the loom. The water resistance is only 100 meters, while the quartz version of the 1926 has a rating of 200 meters. I don't know why they couldn't just make them both 200 meters water resistance. The loom on the dial isn't particularly strong, and there's no loom at all on the bezel. So if you're going diving in deep, dark places, you won't see a thing. So I don't think you can use this as a dive watch. It's more like a swim watch. Next, the domed sapphire crystal is incredibly reflective. The website doesn't mention AR coating, so perhaps there is no or very little AR coating. Combined with the dark dial, I see my reflection first before I see the time on the watch. The original listed price of $599 US is really expensive considering the use of the budget Miyota 8000 series movement, plus all the other cons I just mentioned. There are a lot of other watches that have better specs at this price point. However, note that in the last Black Friday sale, it was 30% off so it became $419, which I think is a more competitive price range. So better wait for the next sale. Overall, the 1926 Etsy Automatic is certainly not perfect. It's more of a fashion piece for the beach rather than a tool watch for hardcore divers as it is a stylish watch after all. If you'd like to see a video of another cool watch, check this out. Thanks for watching and bye for now!